digital world, India ranks among the countries with the most number of mobile phone users in the world. But startingly, just one third of India's internet users are women. And this disparity should be worried. According to the UN Women's Gender Snapshot 2022, the exclusion of women from the digital world has caused a staggering loss of around 1 trillion US dollars to the GDP of low and middle income countries over the last one decade. To bridge this gap by giving young women access to the World Wide Web and helping them get their own voice and identity in this digital era, a group of media educators have decided to start a program called Freedom. This is their story. I don't know how to play the phone. That's why I don't know how to play the phone. 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 और मुझे उससे बहुत प्रॉब्लम होती है मेरे घर में पांच लोग हैं पांच में से सिर्फ मेरे पापा के पास फोन था तो जब मैं टेंथ क्लास में थी मेरा बोर्ड था और घर में एक फोन था जिससे मुझे दिक्कत हो रही थी क्योंकि मेरी क्लास सारी ऑनलाइन चल रही थी और मेरा बोर्ड था दिस इज नॉट सम रिमोट विलेज इन इंटीरियर इंडिया इट इज ताजपुर पहाड़ी एरिया इन डेलीज नेशनल कैपिटल रीजन an area you'd expect a relatively higher degree of mobile literacy where ease of internet access may well be taken for granted. You know, many reports suggest that there are more mobile phones in India than there are toilets. And unfortunately, the access to both these necessities is limited for women. This is not true just for rural India, but even in metro cities. One can assume that at least in the national capital area, everyone will have a phone in their pocket. But the reality is that our country faces a huge gender-based digital divide, even as we harbor the dreams of digital India. This digital divide is a significant challenge for women's empowerment and gender equality, especially in the marginalized communities. India has over 1.2 billion mobile phone users, but when it comes to accessing a smartphone, many young girls and women are left behind. This disparity became stark during the COVID-19 pandemic when many girls and a large number of India's female workforce found themselves cut off information, often information that could save lives. Unable to attend schools, find work and in some cases even avail basic amenities. Vibha, who studies in 10th standard and resides in an urban slum called Tajpur Pahadi, says her family only has one smartphone. And when it came to her online classes during the pandemic, she lost out. Even now, she's totally dependent on her brother for tasks that are now considered basic, like checking WhatsApp messages and sending emails. I'm in 10th class and I don't have a phone to play. And I have a lot of problems with that. And I have a lot of online classes. I have a lot of online classes. I have a lot of problems. जब मेरी मैम मुझे उधर से लिंक भेजती है उसे मैं चालू करती हूँ उसमें भी बहुत प्रॉब्लम होती है मेरे साथ के जो बच्चे जिन्हें फोन चलाना आता है वो सारे गूगल से मतलब आंसर लेके लिख लेते हैं और बाकी मेरे को नहीं आता। According to the Mobile Gender Gap Report 2023, the gender gap in mobile internet use in South Asia and across low and middle income nations. Overall, is largely driven by India. This report also suggests that gender gap has been narrowing between 2018 to 20, but this trend reversed in 2021 and has largely stalled through 2022. Above the age of 18 years, 81% of men own a mobile phone against 72% women. But mobile internet awareness is at 72% among men and 58% in women while mobile internet adoption is at 52% in men and 31% in women. Regular use defined as three distinct use cases per day stands at 42% among men and 25% among women. 10% of women do not use mobile internet or are unaware that such a thing exists. In addition, 48% of male mobile users in India have a smartphone, compared to just 29% of women. 28% of women have a basic phone, while only 23% of men use a basic phone. 
Further, 19% of female mobile internet users only access the internet on someone else's device. This high gender gap is hurting both young girls and women. 48-year-old Lajwanti, a homemaker who assists her husband in tailoring business, has been working with various NGOs engaged in the field of women empowerment. She says that during the pandemic, her neighbors would rush to her for help in calling an ambulance or to order groceries from local stores because they did not have access to phone of their own. But even these hardships have not eradicated the thinking that a woman should not be given a mobile phone of her own. डिलीवरी वाली भी थी महिलाएं जैसे किसी की डिलीवरी होने वाली अब महामारी में डिलीवरी पर नहीं रुकेगी और ना बीमारी रुकेंगी लेकिन उस पर सावधानियां फिर हम एम्बुलेंस का नंबर भी बताया यूट्यूब के नेट के जरिए हमने नंबर निकाला फिर महिलाओं को जो भी प्रेग्नेंट महिलाओं को बुला के हमें फिर वो देखते थे कि जो गाड़ी आई है एम्बुलेंस साफ है या नहीं है फोन की तो महिलाओं को बहुत जरूरत है क्योंकि देखो घर में महिलाएं रहती हैं कोई भी घटना घटती है कोई भी घटना घटती है तो पहले हमें फोन ही याद आता है कि भाई ये ये चीज को करके हम कोई ना कोई अपनी मदद के लिए किसी न किसी को बुला लें मेरे बड़ा ही लड़का बोलता तो तुमको फोन में इसमें अच्छी अच्छी चीजें नहीं आती तुम्हें तो कोई जरूरत नहीं है इस फोन की घर में कहा बाहर भी निकल जाओ इस पर बहुत बड़ा फोन है कहाँ से लिया कहीं चोरी का तो नहीं खरीद लिया इस तरीके की कॉमेंट होते हैं There is no doubt that in large parts of the country the COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated digitization and mobile adoption but there are still some places like Tajpur Pahadi that have been left behind many of the young girls have not experienced an online class in some cases the only phone in the home was given to the male child for his classes papa ka bhi hai but papa ko utna use nahi hota hai kyunki wo duty jaate hain to zyada tar unka phone mere paas nahi rehta bhi mere ghar mein mausi ke hain कि मतलब मौसी की लड़की 21 साल की है बट उन्हें भी फोन यूज करने के लिए नहीं दिया गया है और उनके उनका लड़का छोटा है उनसे भी 16 से सत्रह साल का होगा और उसको दे दिया गया है अब ये नहीं पता कि क्यों क्योंकि मतलब उन्हें लगता होगा शायद कि लड़के रिस्पॉन्सिबल होंगे और लड़कियां नहीं होंगी लड़कों पर ज्यादा भरोसा किया जाता है लड़कियों पर नहीं किया जाता है Experts say the divide is so stark in places that numerous women feel they have become more dependent on men for basic needs like food, clothing, medicines and even services like banking. In all this chest thumping and tom toming sometimes about how India is a digital success story and about how mobile connections here outnumber many other countries by a factor of 10 to 1, we forget that a vanishingly small proportion of this country actually has access to the internet and at that broadband internet so this idea that everyone in india is now connected is actually not at all true we find statistically that only about 25% of india has access to significant broadband in the first place there's a huge gender divide within that because uh, a lot of the devices you use to connect to the internet are in the hands of the men rather than the women but all is not lost these women and girls can break the barriers and bridge the digital divide and there's an army of people out there who are fighting to make this a reality more on this after this break Welcome back to this special show on the great Indian digital divide. According to Oxfam's Digital Divide India Inequality Report 2022, Indian women are 15% less likely to own a mobile phone and 33% less likely to use mobile internet services than men. The number may be disheartening, but the battle to correct this rages on. आज के मेरे शो का नाम है मोहल्ले की बातें यंग वुमेन इन पॉकेट्स लाइक ताजपुर पहाड़ी एंड अर्बन स्लम स्लैप बैंक इन द नेशनल कैपिटल रीजन आर ब्रिजिंग द डिजिटल डिवाइड एंड ब्रेकिंग द ग्लास सीलिंग थ्रू द क्रिएटिव एक्सप्रेशन फ्रीडम इज अ प्रोग्राम रन बाय आइडियो सिंक मीडिया कम्बाइंड अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स गिविंग गर्ल्स एंड वेमेन फ्रॉम मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटीज अ वॉइस they use and provide access to infrastructure to create and generate audio video or text to get the message across to allow people to tell stories as they have lived them freedom also provides public libraries with a twist through digital patshalas in the urban slums of delhi ncr that are open to women where they can play with the smartphones learn their capabilities and access the internet the freedom program if i may just say that it works with women and girls who are living in urban margins and 
the purpose is to enable equality as far as digital literacy is concerned and we are using digital media literacy as a tool for empowerment uh, of women and girls who are living in urban margins. So when we think of urban cities, we think of access, we think of opportunities. But we found that uh, essentially on the margins of urban metropolitan cities is the most marginalized community. Freedom allows women and girls a space to play with technology because once you're able to play once you're able to be free once you're able to roam freely without judgment what sites you're visiting why you're spending more time here what kind of media do you want to create uh, that learning opportunity becomes available so if you look at some of the videos that we've made the mothers are saying oh my daughter has changed you know she speaks so confidently they are also then able to negotiate in their homes. You know, they are able to negotiate outside their homes, they are able to negotiate inside their homes. Once these girls complete their 16 week course, they are given a stipend to make media content which then they can use to raise issues that are important to them. They go through a 16 week program where they learn about media, where they learn about smartphones, where they learn about the internet, where they learn about how to use it to create media and share it over the internet. They learn issues around data privacy and how to use media in a purposive kind of way to address developmental issues. Along the way we also do a few thematic trainings to talk about broader issues in development like education or health so that they can begin to translate that learning into content on their own. And at the end of it, they are encouraged to make their own content. Those of them who show a lot of engagement and who move forward with this process and there's always some in every group of young people that we train are invited to become Freedom Fellows in which case then they commit to making a steady stream of content over a period of time and we have a small kind of stipend support for them if they actually end up creating the content. One of these girls made a video on overflowing drains and the local councillor came into action and got the issue fixed. Namaskar Satyo, my name is Himlata. I am a Freedom Samudai reporter. In our Samudai, it is difficult to see that we have 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 to see that These girls from Tajpur Pahadi now run many podcasts, including Mohalle Ki Baate, where they speak about the issues of their community. Also, Zada Bolne Wali Aurte, which shed light on the patriarchal practices in their own households. And love is part of life, which we can share our mind's feelings. And the necessary knowledge, which we tell about the important information of our area. And the public show, which we share our creativity. One, two, three. Zada Bolne Wali Aurte. Azad love. These podcasts and videos are not just another digital tool for these women. They are a medium that have empowered them and has a much deeper meaning in their lives. Like, It has given them an identity. मैं उन महिलाओं के आवाज हूं जो अपने हित के बारे में या अपने किसी भी मुद्दों के बारे में कुछ भी नहीं बोल पाती उनके मुद्दों को मैं समाज के आगे बेखौफ उजागर करती हूं इंस्पायर्ड एंटरप्रेन्योरियल जी मैं तो फोन के जरिए अपने जैसे हमारा स्टीचिंग का जो काम है ना इसको इतना फैलाना चाहती हूं कि जो मैं इसमें नए-नए डिजाइन YouTube पर डाल डाल के डाल डाल के मेरा एक चैनल बने and make them voices of those who are still struggling to find theirs. कई औरतें या लड़कियां घर में रहती हैं जिन्हें बाहर जाने की आजादी नहीं है तो वो अपनी अंदर की कोई भी फीलिंग है या जो वो मतलब दूसरों से नहीं बोल पाती हैं तो वो अपनी आवाज को ऑडियो या वीडियो से रिकॉर्ड करके डाल सकती हैं उससे। नमस्कार साथियों, ये है फ्रीडम चैनल। मैं सरिता ताजपुर पहाड़ी से लेके आई हूँ। ज़्यादा बोलने वाली औरतें। अक्सर हमारे समाज में देखा जाता है कि जब कभी औरतें अपने हक की बात करती हैं, तो समाज बोलता है कि ये औरत ज़्यादा बोलती है। इसलिए शो का नाम ऐसा रखा गया है। 
with many people tuning in on their phones to listen to what these women have to say. It has also opened the gates to new career paths. 17-year-old Hemlata, for instance, is a community mobilizer with freedom. She used her first few stipends to join an English-speaking course and has also applied for Delhi University's mass media program. She now aspires to be a journalist. If a girl has a phone, she will be able to get it. If a girl has a phone, she will not be able to get it. पर उनको ये थोड़ी ना पता है कि वो काम भी तो लड़के ही कर रहे हैं जैसे तुम लड़कियों को समझा रहे हो उस तरीके से लड़कों को भी तो समझाओ जब मैं छोटी थी तो मैं फ्रीडम में थी तब मैं बोलती नहीं थी बिल्कुल कुछ चाहे घर में कुछ हो रहा हो क्योंकि घर में जब लड़ाई होती है तो अक्सर मैं बोला नहीं करती थी जैसे मेरे पापा के लिए या कुछ भी कोई भी है जैसे घर में चाचा वगैरह कुछ लड़ाई वगैरह हो गई बस बोले जा रहे हैं उल्टा सीधा चुप रहते थे अब है कि कोई बोलता है तो उसका जवाब मुंह पर देती है एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिला जहाँ पर हम अपनी बात बिल्कुल खुल के रखते हैं जब हम सारे लोग एक साथ बैठते हैं ना तो ऐसा लगता है कि बिल्कुल घर है हमारा हम अपनी सारी बातें ऐसे बिन झुझ के एक दूसरे को बता रहे हैं क्योंकि जब हम बताते हैं फिर पता चलता है नहीं ये मेरे घर में नहीं ये सबके घर में ऐसा हो रहा है और सब उसी चीज से गुजर रहे अगर हम इसको ठीक करने बोलेंगे थोड़ा सा कोशिश करेंगे तो वो चीज कम होगी नाजनीन मीन वाइल नाउ वर्क एज ए जूनियर टेक्निकल ट्रेनर विथ फ्रीडम She also assists other fellows in making new programs and conducting workshops. Nazneen says she discovered her love for social work during the program and now wants to pursue this in future. Due to student होने के बाद मुझे जो मैं चीजें देखती थी उस time पे मुझे लगता था कि मुझे इनकी जरूरत है मुझे ये सारी चीजें करनी चाहिए पर यह है कि उस time पे बिल्कुल भी idea नहीं था कि ये मतलब पहली बात तो जब आपके पास एक्सेस नहीं होता है तो आपको बिल्कुल पता नहीं चलता है कि चीजें क्या कैसे करनी है मेरा जो बैकग्राउंड था वो मेरा था बीकॉम मुझे बिल्कुल भी आइडिया नहीं था कि लॉकडाउन के बाद जो मेरी जर्नी है वो एकदम से बदल जाएगी इतना सारा कुछ कम्युनिटी में ग्राउंड लेवल पर देखकर मुझे इतना सा आइडिया मिल गया है तो मैंने अभी इसी साल मैंने अभी सीयूटी पीजी में मैं एम एस डब्ल्यू मास्टर इन सोशल वर्क उसका जो करियर का भी आइडिया है वो भी मुझे यहाँ पे जो भी मेरे कोर्डिनेटर थे या फिर जो भी मेरे साथ काम करते थे उन्हीं से मुझे मिला क्योंकि काम करते करते मुझे इतना एक्सपीरियंस हो गया इतना इंटरेस्ट आ गया तो मैंने सोचा कि मैं अपने करियर को एक किसी मोड मोड पर ले जाती हूँ फॉर मेनी ऑफ दीज गर्ल्स द जर्नी हैज नॉट बीन इजी देर हैज बीन रेजिस्टेंस इन देयर होम्स इन मेनी केसेस द रेजिस्टेंस कंटिन्यू बट दीज गर्ल्स आर एडमेंट दे विल हैव देर से पापा ने कहा कि नहीं जाएगी मैंने बोल दिया बस अब तू ज्यादा जवान मत लड़ा तू यही सीख रही है वहाँ जाके मतलब पहले नहीं बोलते थे तो उनके हाँ में हा रहती थी हमारी अब हम बोलने लगे तो उनको लगता है कि शायद हम लोग वहाँ पे कुछ गलत नहीं थे तो बोलना कुछ गलत ही नहीं है अब खुद की आजादी है अब हम लोग बोल सकते हैं अपने बात रख सकते हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि अगर हम लोग अपनी बात रख रहे हैं तो वो जवान लड़ाना हो गया क्यूँकी वो हमारा हक है इसलिए हम बोलेंगे हेलो दोस्तों में कोमल फ्रीडम It's not just social or local issues that these girls deal with on a regular basis. One girl runs a podcast called Zaruri Jankari or Important Information, where she helps people fill out forms, explain the nuances of various government schemes, gives out information about local events, and addresses misinformation. But podcasts are not their only bullhorn of choice. Some of these girls have come together to form a troupe that performs street play in the neighborhood. A handy way they say to not just express themselves but to inspire others. बात 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 हो बात तो होनी चाहिए महिलाओं के अधिकारों की और उनके उपलब्धियों की जो वो हर जगह पर पा रही The change that these girls have brought not only to their own lives but to the community is remarkable. From overflowing drains to conversations about gender equality, it took just one podcast to start a community level conversation. We wish these girls all the best and hope that this digital revolution is not restricted just to the urban slums of the national capital region. That brings us to the end of this special show. Thank you for watching.